Uh, hello, in this video I want to show you new feature clusters. This is new feature in build to 1.57.10 and using this feature you can add more detailization to your fragments. So uh, here I have this flat box just to show you how this feature works. I will add it in this list and now I will fragment it to 300 fragments uh, without this cluster feature. So later you will see difference. So I fragmented it and here are all my fragments. As you can see each fragment is uh, perfectly convex and uh, very simple. And just to show you simulation I will start preview. Everything very simple. Nothing special. Okay, now I will stop it and delete fragments. And this time I will use clusters. So uh, all you need to do is check on this checkbox. And this is the first property, cluster size. And as we expect, it defines size of the cluster. And it uh, works, as you can see, you can set it to from 1 to 100. And it defines size of clusters, depends on the percents of the from the original object so 20 percent means that each cluster will have size of uh, 20 percent from the original object and now I will create uh, fragmentation one more time and here are my clusters as you can see now I have more detailed fragments of course now I have less fragments only 25 fragments here but uh, each fragment uh, have this, uh, simple fragments uh, as its elements and uh, you can move each of this fragment as element and now we can create one more simulation Okay. As you can see, there is no no any explosion. Even though all fragments are concave, physics still simulate them perfectly because we have each uh, element as convex shape. And if in case you want to add some detailization, you can increase uh, iterations, amount of fragments. And I think if, if I will start simulation right now, this wall will not even collapse. Yeah, it stays so tight, it doesn't want to collapse. So I think I need to help it somehow. I'll unhide my lock here. Add it in this list. Here it is. And throw to the wall. And I will start at 27. Okay. So as you can see this time it looks much more natural than first time so let's increase cluster size to let's say 45 fragment one more time and exclude sphere from this list actually let's fragment with this rock as well as well so as you can see now I have less fragments uh, less clusters but uh, they are bigger and more detailed mm. 
and as you can see this rock was fragmented into clusters as well Okay, let's delete it. And now let's uh, take a look. The second property, fragments percentage. As you can see, before I used it as 100, which means all fragments were uh, attached into these clusters. And now let's say right now I will set it to 85, which means that only 85% of all fragments will be used inside clusters. And uh, let's add um, other. 15% of fragments will just stay as this, as separate, uh, simple, convex fragments. Fragment one more time. Okay, so as you can see here, my big clusters and some fragments not inside them. And in some times, this might help you to add some more uh, digitalization into your dynamic. So let's create simulation one more time. So use property wisely because sometimes, as you can see, it might cause instability. Maybe let's say to use it, uh, 95. And uh, let's say my clusters will be just 20% of size. Okay, so now I want to show you this remove interfaces checkbox. As you can see, by default it's off, and it's actually better to keep it off because in this case uh, I have all fragments as elements. As you can see, I can select each of them and uh, move it, move them, and. Uh, in this case, I can detach all these clusters using these tools and uh, detach by element selected into different fragments later if I want. Uh, and if I will use this remove interfaces checkbox on, uh, I will not be able to do this because in this case, all uh, shared faces will be uh, deleted and all uh, words will be valid. So this is what I mean, I will set it to 100, just to show the, the difference. So here my cluster now. And as you can see, I can select, this is just one big element. I can just move it apart from the other fragments. And if I want to, I, if I will try to, simu uh, to start simulation right now, using convex uh, simulation geometry, physics will just explode all fragments. So, if you want to simulate your clusters later using physics engine, uh, it's better to keep this checkbox off. Okay. So, this impact uh, size uh, property, um, it 
uh, only works in case you use interactive demolition. Uh, so this time I will start, I will use interactive demolition. Mm, I will set death level to 1 and um, it's maybe 200 iterations, maybe 3, 300 iterations here. 100 fragments percentage will be used. Okay, if I will create simulation right now, this is what I will get. So, as you can see, here's my impact point. And even though uh, all force words uh, impact happened here, uh, there are no any tight fragments, small fragments near this impact point. And using this uh, impact size property, let's say I will set it to 30. So 30 means that 30% from the original object again will not be fragments uh, in this area of 30% of original uh, uh, object will not be attached to any clusters. So as you can see now, as you can see this area, near this area, all fragments not in the clusters. Okay, now let's have some fun. So and here, here is what I've got after a few minutes. Uh, as you can see, two objects were turned into two thousand and eight hundred and forty forty fragments. And actually, it's hard to play this in real time because it's really a mess. A lot of fragments. Okay, thank you for watching.